Steve, I'm, I'm really intrigued with the rig that you're using today. Um, I mean, you called it a running paternoster. Perhaps you could show us and just explain what you're thinking is. Yeah, I'll uh, just show you the rig, get it there for Chappie. What I've got there is I've got a, a three inch boom. Yeah, the interesting part about this is I've actually got the swivel. The swivel's bent over at the top and I've actually passed the, the main line underneath. This gives you an action like a pattern oster, but it also runs when the swivel turns round. And that's really critical, isn't it? Because a lot of feeder matches now, you've got to fish with a running fe feeder. You can't have a fixed pattern oster. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's perfectly well, well within the rules yeah. for. And you've kind of um, evolved this rig over time, haven't you? Yeah. You've explained to me that, that you've got the advantage of the paternoster, it's running, and also it's pretty much tangle free, you know, it's a, it's a very neat rig, isn't it? And it's not too complicated. Yeah, you're getting all the advantages of a, a paternoster and how yeah. a paternoster works, but you've also, when you when a fish runs through the feeder, it, it runs yeah. up the line quite freely. Yeah. It's not so easy to bring the, bring it back down That's this way. That's the key thing there. That's when the you pull thing. it back down, yeah. the angle on the top of the swivel That's right. is locking against That's your right. main line and it's keeping it nice and tight. So I think that's really neat. And another thing I like about this rig is you've introduced a, a section here, like a boom of stiffer fluorocarbon, haven't you? What I've actually got here is, I've got 250 centimetres of 018 fluorocarbon. Running rigs are more prone to tangles. Yeah. Uh, and this just gives you that extra bit of security. It's quite stiff and it also I'm going to show which one yeah. you're using there. So that's actually 018. That's 018 fluorocarbon, yeah. yeah. And so you've got a, a quick chain swivel at the top. Quick chain swivel there. And um, obviously the, the, the short boom. Yeah. The short boom of your 018 pattern oster. That's it. And then you've got then you go on to your main sort of hook length line. Yeah. And you've just gone loop to loop, yeah. Loop to loop there. So that's basically the rig. You've got your, your hook, that's 011, that's 018, nice and neat, and that's your pattern oster. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And you like the quick change swivel because yeah. obviously you can change your hook lens, yeah, you, that, can, that, you can bait up while you, you know, to save time. And that's, that's the beauty about this, you can just change your hook. There's no, there's no real faff in it, it's just put the, put the loop on and pull the rubber over and you're back in, it's as easy as that. Brilliant, Steve. I love that. And um, another thing to, to reference, which I think is really interesting, is that you're using a lighter feeder, aren't you, on your short line today? Well, yes. Southfield's uh, it, it's a very shallow venue, and what I've what I've done with a lot of my standard feeders is just trimmed them down. That would have been a 20 gram feeder to start with, and I, I've cut it down to 10 gram. That gives me a nice gentle plop when I'm fishing short, and because of the depth and the sh because it's a shallow venue don't spook the fish as much. Yeah, you don't want a heavier feeder crashing no, into the fish, no, do you? No, not at all. No, that's a really neat tip. And then um, another thing to mention, I mean, we are fishing at Southfield today, which is a shallow venue. It's a big expanse of water. And you're explaining that the tow can be really severe at times. Have you got any tips for the viewers about how to cope with that? Well, the 11 foot number one, I predominantly use for fishing like a 20 meter line, but I've, I've also got two 12 foot number twos. One of, the, one of the reels has got braid on and the other's got mono on. Okay. What I, uh, what I like both setups for is, if I'm going fishing really long, I'll, I'll stick with the braid, but I can also use, I use this Stone River. Uh, I think we've, we've gone over this line before. Uh, it was pretty much popularized by Wayne Bartholomew because yeah. he was the one who pioneered it and started yeah. the, uh, the whole sequence of, but, You'd be surprised on this venue, especially on, on the open match circuit, how many people actually use this re, uh, this this So this what you're mono. getting there, Steve, is it's a it's a less stretch mono than a normal mono, isn't it? So you're getting a bit better bite detection. It's obviously not as direct as braid, but it's helping you when when the when the lake's really towing. It's not it's not affecting your tip as much, and maybe no. the maybe the mono is just hanging a bit deeper because than the braid. The, because the braid. Braid tends to float, yeah. Uh, there's, there's lots of claims with braid sinking, but it predominantly it floats. 
and because this line kind of it's heavier and it lays on it lays down on the bed you don't get the toe as much i think as well with braid once it's been used quite a lot and it gets kind of fluffy doesn't it yeah it gets better with age to be fair mm. but it does unfortunately catch the toe a little bit and that can and that can be detrimental to your fishing because your tip's back, bent right over you know what i mean so this well, the, the the difference between the tip compared to the braids is, is massive and it yeah. can make a big difference in, in a match situation. But you've situation. got both set up so you can cater yeah. to different conditions. Well they're brilliant tips, thanks a lot Steve and I think yeah, they'll no, apply welcome, James. to lots of other venues around the country where people are feeder fishing like this and uh, as, as the style of fishing evolves becomes more and more popular I think it's very very relevant so well, thanks a lot. Right, thank you James.